Oh, oh really? Oh, wait, okay. wait, I don't know. Oh, yeah. like two oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Rick Saint. Rick Saint. Yeah. Okay, right. Okay. Right. 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 right on time. Right. Fortunately. Uh, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All right. He's been down. Just hit the gavel. <laughs> well, the Wilma uh, Public Library District Board of Trustees um, has come to order for the Tuesday, October 16th, 2018 meeting. Um, Madam Secretary, can you call the roll? I certainly will. Trustee George? Here. Trustee Rogers? Here. Trustee McDonald? Here. Trustee O'Loughlin? Here. Trustee Barshus? Trustee Wolf? Yes. Here. Um, great. Uh, First item is the September board meetings located behind attachment one. There's a correction to them. Is that right, Cynthia? Yeah. Mm -hmm. What is the nature of the correction? Uh, Trustee Rogers was included in both lines as approval and as absence, and he was absent. In the <laughs> oh, okay. So I didn't okay. think he could vote. <laughs> okay. All right. Never um, I didn't run. vote. <laughs> <laughs> So the meeting, the minutes as yeah. corrected uh, in the supplement are located, you know, two plus the behind attachment one plus the correction. Can I get a motion to approve? I'll move to approve those minutes. Can I get a second? I'll second it. All in favor? Aye. 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 The uh, minutes are approved. Uh, no audience present participation. We'll move <laughs> on to the treasurer's report. Okay, uh, September is uh, a pretty regular month in terms of, of revenue. We got a payment from the Kenilworth Library District mm -hmm. for 49000 uh, No other large sums were received, um, and everything is pretty much on track. So there's nothing in the financial report that is extraordinary. Um, the next item that we need to attend to is I move approval of the bills and salaries for September. Mm -hmm. I second it. It's been moved and seconded. Um, yes, thank you. Pardon? And um, can I get a roll call vote mm -hmm. on that? Trustee Johnson? Yes. Trustee George? Trustee Aye. Rogers? Yes. Trustee McDonald? Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. <coughs> Marcia, aye. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Okay. Um, no members of the public are present. Uh, we will move on to the action items. The first one is uh, located behind attachment four. The um, closing days uh, for next year. Uh, year the holiday closing there's typically another day added which is the staff day at the point that that gets set but these are the holiday closings mm -hmm. um, any questions mm -hmm. I move approval uh, uh, Ron has moved to approve the holiday closings I'll uh, second. Uh, Stuart second uh, all in favor Aye. 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 okay um, the next one is the uh, resolution 2018-19-194 notice of appointment of authorized agent for IMRF, um, which approves Jan as the authorized. No, no. Pardon? Gail. Meet and Gail. Gail. Uh -huh. Okay. Uh, Jan certifies Gail is authorized. Um, I'm not sure there's much more to say about it. We need a signature on an employee's request for a change. Okay. And up until this point, we've never, we haven't had a request. So instead of making them wait until Anthony comes in the next board meeting, mm -hmm. we just thought we could do that. There's nothing that says it has to be the director, so we just okay. thought we'd go ahead and do this. My motion okay. approval of this so, um, resolution. So mo did, I'm sorry, was that a motion to, to approve? approve? Yes. Okay. Second. Uh, second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Approved. Okay. Second. All right. It's been approved. Uh, the levy. Um, Ron, um, I will turn this over to you because this is basically the work um, that the um, finance committee did mm -hmm. last week. Um, and the levy ordinance 2018 slash 2019-191 is in the form that 
the committee proposed. Also included behind that tab is the um, uh, slides that helped us walk through and inform our decision making. Was there a motion? Did did we get a motion to approve the levy? The committee recommended that the levy be approved at um, an amount 6% lower in the general fund than uh, last year's levy. That's the 5428251 number? So can well, I no. The, well, the general fund is the 4995. Oh, thank you. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. The remaining numbers that are represented flow from that, but there's no change in the recommended levy for other funds uh, for the coming year um, because there's no change in the demand for the levies for IMRF, um, the um, uh, audit, you know, the, the FICA insurance. Mm -hmm. Those are the those are the funds. Um, so the you know the numbers were summarized in uh, materials that the committee reviewed yes, uh, at last that. week's meeting. Yeah. Um, I have some additional information which I'll share in a moment. But the uh, the copy of the slides, um, the last slide describes the 94 percent option, which is the six percent reduction from last year's levy. Uh, and these, the numbers you have in the levy document, uh, merely carry out that direction from the committee. And the recommendation from the committee uh, is that we adopt the levy at that six percent reduction. Uh, so I move that we do so as I'll the second. committee proposed. Okay, it's been moved and seconded. Um, one thing that I would point out is that last year we reduced the levy by two and a half percent. So the total reduction, you know, it's not exactly right, uh, for over the two years is, um, you know, eight percent, over eight percent. So I have um, some additional information related to that issue as well. Dan asked for some clarification. Uh, Barbara provided the numbers, and the answer to Dan's question is in the first table at the top. His question had to do with what the projected balance or, or, or the uh, what the um, amount of the levy minus expenditures would be uh, incorporating the non-tax revenue. So what would our anticipated balance for the year be? Um, and that top table uh, lays out that information. A couple of things that we can't forecast with precision, but we have been advised that the Friends expect to have a lower contribution mm -hmm. next year because book sale revenue is down. Um, and we also anticipate that our fine revenue will be down mm -hmm. because of the change in the uh, CCS circulation system. Uh, which is automatically renewing many things that used to incur mm -hmm. uh, some fines, even if they're small fines that accumulate. So mm -hmm. we actually have an unknown reduction that's likely in the non-tax income as well. So what we're anticipating, based on the currently available numbers, is that we would spend 105000 in uh, in reserves. Um, of course, you know, we often, I mean, as a well-managed um, public service, we never strive to spend every penny in the budget. Our objective is to manage based on needs, not on what the budget uh, dictates. So it's possible that we will underspend to the point of not having a deficit, but this levy anticipates the possibility of using reserves if all of the projected expenditures were to be incurred. I also looked at past levies going back four years. We have two years in which uh, the amount was zero or less than a 1% increase. Last year we reduced by 2.5%. This year we're reducing by 6%. So 
you know, that also helps put everything in a little different context, that we have been on this path of limiting growth in the levy for at least the past four years. Um, the, uh, we were completing a major renovation project uh, in 2015-16. Um, so, you know, that year we levied a bit more to address some of the things that were related to that project. But the bottom line is we've been keeping the growth in the levy limited or uh, negative for the last four years at least. Uh, and so, you know, that's not new. That's a, an objective that we actually started with Ellen. Um, and, and we've continued it. We're actually accelerating it with the recommendation that this year's levy, uh, general fund levy, um, be at 94% of last year's. Um, we evaluated in the initial uh, proposal, we evaluated what the effect would be at keeping it the same as last year at a 2.5% reduction and uh, at a 5% reduction, and ultimately we adopted a 6% reduction as our recommendation. Um, any further, I mean, I know we went all over this all last week. Um, anything further? Uh, yeah, thank you for the opportunity to discuss it. Um, I voted no in committee. Uh, largely because it looks like we're projected to have a surplus of about half a million dollars. And I base that off of looking back at what we actually spent on our actual expenditures instead of what our budgeted expenditures were. We're budgeted at $5.6 million, but we've never spent more than $5 million uh, on our actual expenditures. So um, I think we're moving in the right direction to levy what we intend to spend, but this levy doesn't quite get there, in my opinion. We've got $16.5 million in the bank right now, so we've got wonderful reserves from, you know, good decisions from previous years, but since we've got more than enough reserves in the bank, both on the capital side and on the operating side, I think we ought to uh, have a levy that's closer to what we anticipate actually spending. So that's why I voted no in committee, and that's why I'll, I'll be voting no today. Okay. Thank you. Uh, any further discussion? Are we ready to take a vote? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, Jan, call the roll. Okay. Trustee Johnson. No. Trustee George. Yes. Trustee Rogers. Yes. Trustee McDonald. Aye. Trustee O'Loughlin. Aye. Trustee Barshus. Yes. Trustee Wolf. Yes. Okay. Um, all right. So we're down to something that Dan has asked to us to look at, uh, amending the budget and appropriation ordinance. Um, few words on this, and then Dan can speak to his motion. Um, this is the authorization to transfer stuff to review the reserve is, as we know, an appropriation, only an authorization to do so. There has not been any um, motion to do that. We don't have the audit. Um, it does not require us to transfer the money to reserves, nor does it prevent us from transferring money from reserves. And in fact, Trustees Johnson's proposed amendment is in fact a nugatory act because it would still wouldn't prevent us from doing exactly either transferring it or not transferring it because were we to amend the ordinance and require staff to go through and go through the work of filing the amended ordinance, we could still go back and amend the ordinance again. So in a sense, the only effect of this would be to require the staff to go through the work of filing an amended ordinance, because it certainly would not, this would not affect what is the appropriate and prudent thing for us to do. Um, this ordinance has been before us twice. Um, it came before us in the June board meeting, 
where the rest of uh, Trustee Johnson was not there, but the rest of us looked at this, adopted it in tentative form, and um, considered, um, you know, uh, you know, the budget was presented and included those, you know, really two items that are there: a contingency and a transfer to the reserve, as things that we are giving ourselves authority to do should it turn out to be a prudent thing to do. Um, then in July, it came before the um, board again, first in the form of a public hearing. I don't believe you were there for that either, Trustee Johnson. Um, and then there was the vote of, vote of the final ordinance, and uh, you were not there for that vote either. Uh, I think you came later in that eve in the evening to the meeting. So the rest of the board has considered this, I think, fairly thoroughly. Uh, we also, you know, certainly looked at the numbers again last week. So I do feel quite comfortable that this is, as it stands, is is a, an appropriate ordinance for us to work with going forward, uh, but having